good morning. It's currently day three of the Boundary Waters trip. I'm just hanging out here on this little cliffside again. Just watching the beaver eat a nice breakfast. You know, getting some good wildlife shots. Couple groups that come up here are freaking noisy. I just had a couple people canoe by that were just yeah, 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 talking their freaking ears off. And sound travels very easily up here. There's just a lot of human noise up here on this popular lake. But that's okay, people are enjoying their trip. We're gonna head on off to Boot Lake. Just gotta pack up camp. Uh, eat breakfast. And yeah, we'll be on our way to Boot Lake. So far, it's very calm out right now. The sun is just rising. No wind at all. Completely different from the last two days, but that could very well change. It's still pretty early, and the wind might still pick up, but that'll be all right. We will be heading in the direction with the wind, so... But yeah, I'm probably just going to hang out here for a little bit and then head on back and start packing up camp. What a nice calm day. Got a little bit of a rain shower that came through, but it lasted all of two minutes. We're all packed up, ready to go. Just gotta load up the canoe and we will be off. Off into that direction over to Boot Lake.
Everything. Dead in pretty rough shape. I'm gonna try to do all the rest of his stuff in the canoe. I think I got it. It's gonna be tiring though. <laughs> be alright. Far too ambitious for even myself. I got a ways with all that gear, but man, there's no way. Far too much weight. It tires me out too quick. So, let's split it up, you know? Don't want to triple portage, but I think that's what we're going to have to do here. Just going to bring this canoe across, come back, and then grab those other two packs. <laughs> we out here, baby. That was here. Okay. Oh, I was walking back to meet you. I scared up a gross. Oh yeah, I scared up a whole family. Did you? Yeah, under the under the boardwalk, there's a little one tucked in there. Like the little baby one, you know? Yep. Fucking scared it, flew off. No. The so mom comes walking across and shit. You see that little bird's, down, uh, bird's egg? No. It was right on the side of the trail. Just a little thing. I saw a bunch of fur or something. Yeah, two different spots I saw. Yeah. It. On trail next or anything? Maybe a couple things of food snacks. Looks like we're posting up camp right here. On Boot Lake. Alright, we got camp all set up. Okay. Oh, I'm just talking to this thing. Let me give a quick little rundown. Got my tarp here. Found a nice trusty stick for the center pool. Got my hammock up there. Got my putters here. What tree should I go for? I'll go for that one right there. Way wide, right? Again, way wide, right? Go for that little one right behind the pine here. left just left again see if I wasn't holding the camera I would have nailed 
I would have nailed that tree every time. We gotta check this out. We got a nice long treacherous hike back up to my tent. And here we are. Trail that goes off that way. I might take it tomorrow morning. I might go on a hike back over there because there's a big cliffside up there. But as of right now, I'm freaking hot and sweaty and it's muggy out right now. I think I'm gonna go snorkel a little bit. Throw these bad boys on. Ready? Three, two, boom! Dude, we're ready to go. Just like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna snorkel a little bit and then uh, yeah, probably look around the lake. It's got good clarity here in this lake, so that's gonna be a plus. The last lake didn't really have so much, so I tried. I tried. Uh, I tried using the goggles uh, one time, and uh, yeah, the clarity wasn't that good. But yeah, probably gonna go snorkel around a little bit and then um, see if there's any fish hanging out in the area. Probably go go fishing right after that. And uh, yeah, we still got plenty of daylight left. Sun's right about there. You can see pretty clear. Yeah, this lake looks a lot clearer than uh, Ensign. Oh, big time. I can see pretty deep. Yeah, 17 here, 11 on uh, Ensign. And like I said, that's a, that sequel disc reading. That's how deep and how, how far down you can lower it and still see it. Yeah, probably by feet, huh? Yeah. Snorkeling around the campsite here. Found this lure here. Found this guy. I wasn't a lure at the end of it. I started. I grabbed these because I saw them on the bottom there. I started pulling on it. I think I snapped a lure off or something. It might have been jammed under a rock, but probably just a hook would be Six, my guess. Yeah, probably. But yeah, successful little cleanup. I don't know if I'm gonna go back out yet. I think maybe go do some fishing. Yeah, we'll try a little bit of fishing. Yeah, I was swimming out like pretty far out here and it didn't really get much deep out here, but then you come back over here, it kind of drops off there. So, I mean, we'll just canoe around, see what we can catch, see what it is, see what wants to bite. All right, rigged up, ready to go fishing. This whole boot lake gives us good luck, like Ensign Lake gave us good luck. Let's catch some fish, eh? Gone, fella. What's going on with the Vexlar? Huh? What's going on with the Vexlar? Oh, just the uh, power connection. The stream leaf on it broke, so I had it taped up. Mm. Then the tape slipped off. It's got it good now, so or I what? I cobbled it back together. Yeah, it'll work for now. Mm. Thirty-four feet. This is a deep lake. Oh no shit. Yeah. Wow. I wonder why they don't have contours on this lake. Yeah, I don't know either. Look, we're in 38 feet of water. Now. Yo. Got a monster bass. Oh, he got unhooked. Hey. Yep. Come here, big guy. Yo! <laughs> That's a nice fish. Good job, man. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get a measurement on him quick and then probably just let him go. Alright, see how big you are. About a 16, 15 and a half inch bass. Not too bad. All right, we'll let you go. Chill out. Relax. Let me grab you. 
Sheesh. Be gone. <laughs> nice fish. <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. Bass are biting the day. Third one I had on my line and second one got off, but landed this one, so just a little guy. Alright, well I'd say that was a successful little fishing trip, you know, hitting the bass. Didn't catch no walleye or nothing like that. Which would have been nice, but hey, it's alright, we got some nice bass. I even cast it offshore over here that we landed in. Little bass hit. Might have some weather tonight. Just keep hearing, keep hearing thunder off that way. So we'll see what happens. Whole day has been super calm though, so that's the blessing. We'll just see what it turns into. It might be the calm before the storm, you know. Well, the storms were threatening, but they passed by. One shot off to the side that way, one shot off to the side this way. All we got was a couple little raindrops. Now the sun is high in the sky, looking a little hazy. Probably from the smoke from the wildfire off that way, the Delta fire. Now we're about to eat some supper with our chipmunk friend. Chippy the chipmunk. That's not his name. What's his name? How do you know it's Chippy the Chipmunk? Because that's where I named him. But that might not be his name, that's just your nickname you gave him. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, it does, because you could have an actual full name and you just gave him Chippy the Chipmunk. What if he doesn't want to be called that? Tough, that's what I'm calling him. He's going to bite your fucking nuts off in your sleep. His mouth ain't big enough. <laughs> I don't know, have you seen how... They pack their cheeks full. Yeah, you better watch out, man. I can tell you're scared now. Oh, I'm shaking in my moccasins. Yeah. All right, just smashed some freaking rice and chicken. I think I'm gonna head off to that point. I'm gonna try to take this trail, see where it leads, and maybe it'll wrap around there. I'm gonna take the camera with. Yeah, just go on a little adventure. Look at what I found here. Busy beaver. Think I could help him out? Oh no, that's solid. I ain't going nowhere. Still a good chunk of that left. Damn, beavers are so ambitious, man. You gotta respect it. Alright guys, I'm almost to the point. Some really cool cliff sides over here. I'll tell you what. Alright. Made it to the other point. I should have wore 
my actual shoes instead of these Crocs. <sighs> Slipped a number of times. <laughs> it's all good though. I kind of know what I'm doing. Wow, look at this tree. I really want to climb it. That would be sick. I want to. Just gonna admire this view and then head on back. Boot Lake, baby. Boot Lake. Really quiet lake. Not a lot of people back here. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm just trying to. I'm just soaking all this in right now. This is beautiful. Time to head back. Almost just walked right into the web of this guy. That would not have been good. Look at how well he blends into the rock. <laughs> Alright y'all, that's gonna do it for day three. Day three is over with, man. Pretty solid day. We had a pretty long portage, 230 rods. But that was it. Brought us over here into Boot Lake. Scored heavy on the bass fishing. That was sweet. Just got back from my little adventure. Yo, what do you, what do you guys think about those spiders, yo? I was hoping to find some. I know that spiders come out at night and I know there's some big ones up here so that was pretty cool I scored on some of those so that was pretty cool scored on some sweet shots of the, the spiders and yeah man I love it I love it up here tomorrow morning so technically next video I'm gonna try to get up super early and run on over to this cliff side over here and uh, post up and see what type of wildlife shots I can get tomorrow as well. Man, I love it. I love the wildlife, man. I love the wilderness. So, that's a peace and love from the Boundary Waters. Y'all stay awesome. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned to the next video. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm gonna get some good sleep. Oh. Some more thunder rolling in, too. So, might get rain. <laughs> Never know what could happen up here. It's all pretty random. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna hit the hay. Alright, peace and love. Your life is a gift, keep on giving. Yeah, I'm living, happy as can be. I don't care what they say or see. I'm gonna be me, my best version, you see. I will stand my own ground where I plant my own two feet.